Sir Richard Branson has achieved enough to fill 10 lifetimes. What he doesn't own, what he hasn't done, probably isn't worth it. It all started in 1971 when Branson opened a chain of record stores known as Virgin Mega Stores. You can now find over 350 stores worldwide. Once he got going, the flamboyant and highly competitive entrepreneur has simply never stopped. Branson's Virgin brand grew rapidly during the 1980s as he set up Virgin Atlantic Airways and expanded the Virgin Records music label. Virgin Records' first release was Mike Oldfield's chart topper, Tubular Bells, and then the controversial work of the Sex Pistols. It's this kind of renegade thinking that has driven the billionaire's career, but the key has always been diversification. I think we're quite good at reinventing ourselves. So uh, in this store, we'll have the best range of music there is in, you know, in this part of town. Um, but, we're, but we're also moved into fashion. We moved into you know, really uh, hip electronics, into uh, great games, great films, a, a whole range of things. And we've got a, you know, um, in, a sense, in a sense, we've reinvented the Virgin Megastore. Richard Branson has his fingers in so many pies, it must get a little sticky. Planes, trains. He formed Virgin Atlantic Airways, has Belgian Virgin Express, Virgin Blue in Australia, Virgin Nigeria Airline, and now Virgin America Airlines. So what could possibly be next? You guessed it, space. The entrepreneur has announced a new space tourism company, Virgin Galactic. So it's to infinity and beyond for the intrepid Sir Richard.